Peace and greetings to you. This is Dr. O, the PA Pro. Uh, I'm here, I just got through with the, um, their Friday uh, prayer service called Juma. Um, I ran into an old friend of mine who is also a physician assistant. Yes. So um, he actually is a neurosurgical physician assistant. So I'm very excited to see him because we hadn't seen each other yes, in, in yes, several for sure, years. For sure, for sure. So for sure. Um, a lot of people don't know about physician assistants being able to specialize. So I'm going to introduce him and then ask him to talk about uh, some of the things that he does. All right, Salaam Alaikum. Peace well, alaykum. Salaam Alaikum. Salaam Alaikum. How are you? Okay. Uh, of course, we, we just finished uh, Juma Salah. You know, it's a happy day, Juma Mubarak. Um, but, uh, you know, basically, you know, I went to, uh, I met uh, Abdul Malik at the, um, at the, uh, at uh, Howard University when I was trying to uh, do my prerequisites. And uh, he actually really, made it uh, a reality for me. You know, he gave me a lot of references and, you know, made the situation become a reality. So I went to, uh, did my prerequisite at Howard and I went to uh, University of Charleston, West Virginia and um, of course in West Virginia and I finished uh, my master's degree there. Um, immediately when I finished, I didn't want to do the, um, the uh, I guess, internal medicine or family medicine. I wanted to go into orthopedic spine. Um, or orthopedics, because I thought that was probably my calling. Um, I really enjoyed working with uh, bones and, you know, muscles and, you know, things to that effect. So I, um, I stayed out for about, uh, about six months because a lot of people didn't want to give me the uh, opportunity to become, to be an orthopedic spine. You know, usually when you call these places, you know, they ask you, do you have any experience? And you, uh, you tell them, you know, look, I just graduated. Of course I don't have any experience. But uh, eventually, you know, one of the uh, physicians gave me an opportunity to do orthopedic spine, and I worked there for about two to three years. Um, and uh, what we did, we did a lot of laminectomies, uh, posterior, anterior. We did a lot of, um, of course, um, cervical laminectomies, and uh, uh, we did X lifts. Um, we did you know, basically everything that concerns the uh, central nervous system uh, and the spinal cord. Um, Immediately after that, um, you know, I left that job because, you know, of course I had a lot of experience. So, you know, when you become a physician assistant, you know, once you get a lot of experience, you know, you can kind of, you know, work your options around. So, um, and go into different uh, subspecialties, you know, it all depends. Um, so when you're doing a subspecialty, you want to learn as much as you can um, so that you can diversify your skill set so that if you do want to do um, neurosurgery or um, orthopedic spine, um, that will be an easy uh, transition for you. So, um, so I was doing the uh, orthopedic uh, spine and then neurosurgery is not that far off from neurosurgery because you're still dealing with the central nervous system but you, you add in the aspect of the, uh, the head or the brain. So we do a lot of tumor resections, we do a lot of cancerous tumors, um, we do uh, DBS which is deep brain stimulation where we do um, a lot of the uh, surgeries where the patient is still awake, but we're doing brain surgery on them to, uh, to uh, correct, um, uh, to correct uh, certain different uh, spastic uh, elements that they may have, um, essential tremors mo mo more than likely. Um, and then, you know, we do a lot of spine cases, of course, because neurosurgery, of course, it, it, it all depends on, you know, whether you got hurt from your neck or you got hurt from your back or you have a brain issue. So, you know, we do a lot of different things. And it's very exciting. You know, I really enjoy my profession. And, uh, you know, if we can have other people uh, come in and, um, you know, add to the, uh, to the, uh, to the profession, it'll be, it'll be beautiful. Can I ask you, um, what, what made you want to do neurosurgery? Did you want to do like general surgery or? or uh... Well, well, in my rotations, I, I really had an affinity towards surgery. I really liked the, the aspect of you know it may sound a little little funny, but you know I really I really enjoyed I really enjoyed um, I really enjoyed uh, surgery. Um, so when I did surgery, I knew that's what I that, that was my calling. Okay. So when I went into the neurosurgery, when I went into the uh, when I graduated, I didn't want to do things that didn't involve surgery because I was doing, you know, treating a lot of family medicine, you know, hypertension, diabetes, and I didn't really, that wasn't my calling. So I went into the, uh, I stayed out for about six months until somebody gave me the opportunity for uh, a surgery position, um, specifically orthopedic surgery. Yeah. And then let me ask you, um, mm -hmm. if, if a PA mm -hmm. wanted to specialize in surgery, specifically neurosurgery, what mm -hmm. qualities should they have? 
Well, um, it all depends. Uh, first and foremost, you know, they do have, they do have, um, I guess, internships, something similar to what doctors do to uh, get subspecialized in uh, certain aspects of the uh, field. But what you can do is you can just um, uh, find a physician who is willing to take the risk on a new grad um, in, in that specific field. And then you work there until you get enough experience to where you feel like you can work anywhere. But the, the thing that you don't want to do is work there for a year and then stop, you know, work someplace for an ER for another year. Then, you, you, know, you know, the physicians or, you know, the jobs that you get won't feel that your, your, um, your skill set is adequate enough for you to work oh, okay. on your own. So what you want to do, if you do by any chance um, have the ability to get into a subspecialty that you really like, uh, mainly neurosurgery or orthopedic spine, you know, you want to stay there for a good three or four years until you master the skill set of doing all of the surgeries associated with that specific um, uh, session. And then, you know, you can move on to different things. And then you can, you can do ER or you can do emergency medicine or um, orthopedic spine. Okay. But um, that's basically what it is. Okay. Let me ask you, um, can you, so typically, what's your relationship with a, because you're telling me you do contract work. Yeah, you I do. Go, you mm -hmm. go to different places to do. Uh, yeah, I do contract work. Um, contract work is uh, it has its positives and it has its negatives. The positives of contract work is that you, um, first of all, the um, the amount of money is about the same. Okay. So if you're looking to make a significantly more amount of money, probably not, unless you're just a workaholic. You okay. can work. You probably can double your salary mm -hmm. that a neuro a regular neurosurgery gets paid if you do contract work year round. Okay. But my philosophy is that, you know, I try to, you know, my time is more valuable than, than money to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I try to work, you know, three months on, a month off, three months on, a month off. So mm -hmm. I, at the end of the year, I probably have about three or four months that I've had off, oh, really? you know, yeah, yeah, know. yeah. So, you know, that's, um, that's the benefit of working with contract work. Um, you don't work so often, you know, and also the the, that's the pros of contract work. Okay. The cons of contract work is that when you, when you work um, and you try to get on with another contract or another um, uh, contractor, basically, or another facility, um, it takes about two to three months for you to get everything established, mm -hmm. all your credentials through the hospital and everything going right now. So, um, you know, that, that can kind of push things yeah, back a I've month, a month and a half, yeah. So, yeah, that's, the, that's the cons of it. But, you know, it's, it's definitely a good, a good fit if you are not married or you don't have a lot of ties to a specific uh, um, place. Okay. And let me ask you, um, when you're doing the surgery, are mm -hmm. you first assist or like oh, as yeah. a surgeon? All right. Oh, yeah. So, you, you usually fun function as a surgeon. Yeah, we, we, we work as first assist. Uh, you know, you come in, you know, as a contractor, you have to be able to hit the ground running. So that's why I say, you know, immediate, you know, earlier on, I was saying, you know, you have to stay in the profession. If you are going to do subspecialty work, it is um, sought after, but you have to know what you're doing. Um, you know, when you come into a new facility, you can't, you know, start asking, you know, what is this? What is that? You know, you have to actually know what to do and how to do it. Um, that's why they that's why they that's why they pay you big, big yeah. money. Yeah. Um, but uh, <clears throat> you, you do work in a first assist capacity. Um, you do work in a first assist capacity. You do the um, you do the uh, first assist in the OR. Um, you do small procedures. Um, you do um, uh, you do you see you see clinic, and uh, you round on patients. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, I so we're almost. I have like forty seconds here. So, uh, you know, look at go to um, www.aapa.org. That is the website of the American Academy of Physician Assistants, and that'll give you a lot of information about, you know, the full details of what a physician assistant is able to do in different specialties. So I'm, I'm a hospitalist PA, and my background is in infectious disease, as some of you all may know. So there, there, it runs the entire gamut. So it's a great, you know, being a PA is just an amazing profession. You can specialize. What PAs make, uh, you, you can. It's 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 not limited to what you may read. I, th I think we both make a little oh, bit yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we've been blessed, humbly. We yeah. we make quite a bit more than what you may see listed as the average. But uh, please subscribe to my webs my uh, YouTube channel. Peace.